China has many modes of transportation that may seem like they're from a faraway future. But this incredibly futuristic electric helicopter taxi isn't just a pipe dream. Chinese tech company Ehang recently secured the world's first type certificate for an AAV, or Autonomous Aerial Vehicle. While other companies like Japan's SkyDrive have received certificates for an EVTOL before, or Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicle, Ehang is the first one to be completely self-driving. Their EH216S model can carry two passengers and requires no pilot present. The aircraft has already performed thousands of test flights across many different countries like Japan, Spain, Israel, Belgium, and of course China itself. Company CEO and founder Hua Zihu states that the company has performed over 10,000 total autonomous test flights in 41 cities across eight countries, and surely they're only looking to expand from here. Ehang's mission is to make safe, autonomous, and eco-friendly air mobility accessible to everyone. But before we tackle how they're living up to that mission statement and reveal the staggering market evaluation of the company, let's first go over how they're planning to make this marvel of aerospace innovation work in the first place. Like most EVTOLs, Ehang's models resemble a drone or a helicopter. Because of the nature of their vertical takeoffs and landings, they require very little space. And the company has designed a variety of landing ports for landing even on tall building rooftops and on top of water. They feature a completely zero emission design where the units run entirely on electricity. The EH216S cruises at about 100 kilometers per hour, but can reach speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour or 81 miles per hour with a travel range of 35 kilometers or 22 miles. Recharging its battery currently takes a total of 120 minutes, but is something that the EVTOL industry is constantly working to improve upon. To achieve flight, the EH216S has 16 propellers, with an individual battery-powered motor for each one. This ensures that malfunction of a single motor won't affect the remaining 15 propellers. The AAVs are also equipped with multiple fail-safes, such as full redundancy in all critical components, emergency landings, and network encryption. EH models aren't just built for passenger transportation, however. In addition to providing these taxi-like services, Ehang has also performed thousands of flights loaded with goods such as cargo or medical equipment. And they even have the separate EH216L exclusively for logistics work. The maximum weight that the more advanced EH216S can carry is approximately 220 kilos or 485 pounds. So, for now, the variations of what or even who can board the aircrafts is slightly limited. Another interesting area that they are looking into is firefighting AAVs. The company has performed firefighting and rescue drills with their aircrafts, further showcasing use cases for this technology. This diversification could be a great move as it can make governments more open to the idea of AAVs in the first place. Among the plethora of test flights performed, Ehang performed a cross-island flight in Japan from Noho Island to Ihaya Island in the southern Japanese region of Okinawa, as well as flights in collaboration with the Spanish National Police and Medical Transportation Services in Belgium. Successful tests have also been performed in heavy windstorms and foggy, low visibility environments. One of the key things separating Ehang from their competition is their dedication to investing heavily in the development of core technologies for autonomous flying, including the algorithms that control and navigate the AAVs. The EH216S is equipped with maneuvering and stabilization systems to ensure that the ride goes smoothly from point A to point B. As with most innovative tech solutions, Ehang are constantly working with regulators to ensure that their aircrafts are following any necessary Necessary guidelines and can be legally operational even within an urban city environment. Just a month ago, in October of 2023, they received a type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, becoming the first in the world to get one for an autonomous aviation vehicle. The company has applied for and is looking to obtain certificates in other countries as well, including the United States. In 2022, both the Japanese tour company AirX and Aerotree from Malaysia ordered 50 units of the EH216 each, some of which will be used by AirX for the first time during the 2025 World Expo in Osaka, Japan, where multiple companies will present their solutions for the future of society during the massive World Expo project together with participants from 146 
six different countries. If they do a good job here, their presentation may be able to legitimise AAV and EVTOL aircrafts to the world and perhaps even lead to a broader worldwide adoption of the technology. In December of 2019, Ehang went public on the NASDAQ and is currently worth an impressive $860 million. With the company's new certificate, they may be primed to start the commercialization of their vehicles, and with the thumbs up from the Chinese government, we may see self-driving flying taxi services all over China and even the world in the near future. But what do you think? Will electric air taxis become a transportation mainstay in our near future? Or would you prefer to look elsewhere for alternative transportation? Let us know in the comments down below. For more coverage about futuristic transportation methods and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel.